Okay, so now um, I just got this new book here. Uh, uh, Breathe, the new science of a lost art. James, that's the called Breathe. Now I know you don't you did, did didn't you do some uh, what breathing studies? Don't you have some some breathing problems, man? I did. I need to let you borrow this book. No, I can't. What am I talk about you? You and I ain't coming down to Atlanta to give you no books, man. How you doing? You know. Hmm? What you up to? Can you hear me? You you're on a computer? What you doing on the computer? Oh, okay, what's happening today? Well, you know the big the big news is like uh what do you call that? Uh who who gonna be the vibe the VP prick for the Democrat Party? Or uh, or well, Biden's Biden's you know, very best person or whatever, you know, very person, next person, whatever you want to call it. That's the thing, you know. In fact, wait a second. Wouldn't be Stacey Abrams. <laughs> hey, wait, I, you know something? I, I got you uh, I got you in my head, my, my Bluetooth here. Let me put you, because I'm actually recording. So let me, let me let some people, let me see if I can take you off here. You can hear, we can hear what people are saying, take these reading glasses off. This is pretty big font on this breathe book, man. You should check it out, man. I'm not the, I, 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 I should gift it to you, man. But wait a second. Are you a reader? Because I know you be, you be, you be, but hold on a second. Let me take this off here first. Let me get you off the thing. Uh, I think this is back speaker. Okay. Uh, can, just a second. Go ahead. Say again. Can I, can I read uh, my, um, my Pulp Fiction books? <laughs> <laughs> um, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my favorite genre. Yeah, Pulp Fiction, man. Just to read the, the different styles of writing. And, uh, we 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 talked about that before. You know? oh. oh yeah, no, we <laughs> talked about things. Well, look, yeah. okay. So so so, what do you see on your computer, man? Let me see on your computer. I'm, I'm put I'm putting my go I'm putting goggles on because you know we're in the midst of COVID. And I don't want to catch anything, so I got gobble goggles. But go ahead, man. We're, what, Pulp Fiction? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What? Uh, what is, we got, what's almost happening here? I'm just trying to see what other people's posting today. Okay, so one of my cousins posted a cute little post. A good speech should be like a woman's skirt. Oh, Lord. Long, Listen. Long go, enough go, to cover the subject and short enough to, to create interest. Okay, <laughs> well, that's that's, I've heard that man. before. Wait a second. Hold on. Look, wait. Go back. Let's do the Biden. The, 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 Okay, Stacey Abrams out. We won't say why. Why is she out? Because she a dumpy? Is she a little, okay. she, she a little dumpy? Well, what, why my, is she my out? theory is, number one, it's about optics. Optics, okay, yes, true. Okay. You know, she's not an attractive woman. She's yeah. single. And she's desperate, uh, man. She'd be desperate. The she point she point would be that she's okay. She's written a, quite a few erotic books, Who's novels. Who's this? Stacey you know, Abrams? So she'll, she'll, get, she'll get creamed a lot for that. Cream. Oh, um, wait a second. Hold on. Hold, are you? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear? She, did you say she get creamed, man? This entendre uh, ain't gonna work, man. <laughs> okay, all, all right, wrong, wrong, wrong choice of words. Well, okay, okay, let's on. move. Let's move on. Stacy's not it. Who's who's next on the list, man? No. Okay, who else we got? All right, so we got a couple of new faces. This one, she's an ex um, police chief from Florida. Who that? And her name is up there, but nah, she's not really in that great optics looking. What's her name? Uh, I don't know what's her name. Meg. Uh, Meg. It, it, it don't matter. She used to be a police chief. Now nah, it ain't gonna fly, man. Let's let's leave her alone. Go ahead. <laughs> Who's next on the list? <laughs> who, who else can we get rid of real quick? Don't don't, uh, don't you have some? Yeah. Don't you have there your are Atlantic? people that I've never heard from before. Um, one of another, another one on the list is like my my mayor here in Atlanta. That's what I was gonna say next. Yeah, what about her? Uh, Wait a second. Is, didn't she? Is she? Is she? Is she, is she on, the daughter? On the, Wait, on the biggest are you listening to me? Hey, her, hey, so are I mean, you listening to me? Listen, question. I ask question. Didn't isn't she like the the daughter of a of a of a, of a, a DJ musician music, or something like that? Yeah, um, uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, sixty soul singer Major Lance. Major time. Lance, yeah. Oh, what's her name? Uh, 
Uh, and last name is Lance, uh, right? Keisha Lance Bottoms. Oh, yeah. oh, she gets married to some Bottoms guy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Major Lance. I liked him. He's a good guy. Well, you know, yeah, Major yeah. Guy. I mean, but as far as her experience, I mean, I like that she's very really calm and collected, especially since she's been going back and forth against the governor. Huh. Um, but as far as that, does she have that? Uh, International experience, because I, I don't know that mayors necessarily get the nods. It's usually governors don't get the nods when it comes to being a, a vice president, governors or senators. Okay, okay. So what? So, so okay, who else is on okay. this? Let's 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 put let, how do you say? Let's put a pin in her. Okay. <laughs> let's keep let's, right, let's keep know, her I'm on the board. Five nominees. Now I know they have mentioned of not necessarily women of color, but other women who have been able to. Um, uh, to um, I can't forget think of the word I'm looking for. To um, I don't know, make the grade, cut, make, make the whatever. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah basically make to make the grade. Okay, Biden nominees. Um, what you know, the uh, female governor um, of um, oh, and I like her too. Um, of Michigan, Michigan. Okay, that's a yeah. demographic. It, okay. But she, but she's white. But oh. she was going back and forth with Trump when he was bringing up his stupidity about the, the virus, and he, you know, because mm. uh, at the, this is at the time when the those white militias went and stormtrooped oh, the yeah. uh, state capital where she's at. Like, oh, okay, and, uh, but no, no, what she 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 didn't punk out, so she got some grit in her. What, right. right. Oh, okay. Well, talk about yeah. wait, wait a second. Talk about what about that Duckworth? The Tammy Duckworth, is she a veteran? And, and I don't know if she whatever. What? Yeah, she's a veteran. Let's see who we got here. Um, as of three hours ago, let's go back to Duckworth. Wait, 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 wait. Harris leaves Elizabeth Warren and Susan Rice. Oh, okay. Hey, let's say well, Elizabeth Warren. Well, yeah, she could. But I don't know what they're going to do about that. Yeah, but she, she's like you know she. She'll get they'll they'll Pocahontas her to death, man. I don't know about that. The Jones said, "Yeah, she's a person of color." But, but, well, I don't do that term, whatever. But whoa, this is intriguing. Kamala Harris. Hey, let me. Hey, I don't know if you heard this, man. No, you probably didn't. But you know, you know, I'm ADOS, and so I'd be listening to to Yvette Carnell and Antonio Moore. And Tony did one on on a. Uh, on uh, what's the name Kamala Harris, right? We 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 then did her months ago, right? But then Yvette came back and went hard last night. Oh, went hard. Oh man, I, hey man, she, hey Kamala. Let me tell you about Kamala. Look, she ain't going. to... Look, here's here's the biggest thing. Like I, you know, I I hung out in India, you know, and I hung out with the Tamils, you know what I mean, the dark skin people, and you know, India got that whole caste system. And I don't know where they got it from. You know, it's like you know whatever. Right. But the whole thing is the, that whole thing is serious, man. That whole Brahmin thing, and him, and her, her grandfather was it is Brahmin to the core, and her mama was Brahmin. And one of the things that um, what's the name that Antonio said is she used to go back and forth in the seventies to India, which cost a lot of money to put, travel by air to India in the seventies. So she got some, you know, she got some thing. Now I, we won't even deal with her Jamaican father, whatever. Have, we ain't been in her life, so there's some issues with there, you know. So let's leave that. Let's stay with the Brahmin thing because this is serious. Now, one of the things that 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 uh, Yvette brought up last night was there's some sort of class, some actions, somebody suing somebody when the Brahmin class. Because when the Brahmins come over here, they get into those tech things because you know, remember in India, it was like the apartheid days in South Africa. You know, the certain class got all the advantage, went to the good schools, whatever have you. So a lot of these tech peoples are from the Brahmin class. So if another Indian come in, they they you know it's it's like when a black person walking in, you want to see if they got a little spook around the, around the, on the ear. You know what I'm saying? So those Brahmin they can't really tell like that. So they question, question, question. And if you admit that you are from a lower class, the the, the Dalit class, you know what I mean, which is that used to be called the Untouchables, the Dalit class. That's the low class. Then the Brahmins they automatically exclude, exclude you from stuff. You know, it's like it's like our boule. You know what I'm saying? But the boule don't necessarily exclude you because remember, you know, Bill Cosby, you know, went into the boule with his because Camille was boule. So you know, we know we don't have it that rigid like that. But that thing in India with the Brahmin stuff, and I think the Brahmins like two or three classes above the the Dalits. You know, so there's like some serious things happen there. You know, wow. Well, well, well one more thing. That's some something that nobody's saying. Can I say this? Talking about the American electorate, like who would be that knowledgeable to, to 
to put to conflate the Brahmin situation with a, a woman of color who actually has black looks. She went to Harvard. I mean, she went to Howard. Yeah, she's surrounded. Um, you know, I mean. Okay, hold on a second. On, oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm not arguing, but let me say one more thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Okay, she. Here's what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. Here's my thing about that. You know, she 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 got the D from 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 Willie B back in the day. You know, Willie B. You know, who was like I guess he was the mayor of San Francisco time, but before then he was like the the house some some big wheeler dealer in in his in California politics. So for her to get to where she got, she done she she got the D from Willie B. Willie Brown, you see what I'm saying? Now he he a d o s, but he dark skinned. so that means that she betrayed the Brahmin class by hanging out, even though it wasn't dollar. But you know what I'm saying? In other words, she she she, she got D from she got D from the dollar, man. She got D for she got she got D, man. She got D from the she got dollar, man. She and they ain't gonna let that go, no, man. Nah, that girl then not. Nah, she could okay, so, so, she went so to school in Canada, right? If she, oh, if she, no, no, if she no. becomes a nominee, if she basically becomes a nominee, Trump is going to just win re-election. So that's basically what you're telling me because ADOS people <laughs> don't want to, they don't want to hold their nose and choose the Biden camp because she is not ADOS. No, no, they don't go like that. No, this, it's not like that. What happens is, no matter who it is, Biden, Trump, whoever, right, Pence, whoever it is, all we're saying is ADO has been dumped on every step of the way, taking away stuff, da 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 All we're saying is like, where's wh- what are you going to do for us? Don't give us that. Don't give us you ran with Barack Obama because Barack Obama didn't, didn't do nothing for no ADOS. Come on now, he did for everything but ADOS. And still to this day. You understand what I'm saying? And Biden said he ain't going to do nothing. And and she and 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 the, and the Brahmin lady, but this Harris lady, she says she ain't doing nothing. It's recent as recently, she says she still ain't doing nothing for no ADOS. So it's not that we we ain't going to vote. Well, my from my perspective, it's not. I say okay, well, give us something to vote for. You ain't giving us something to vote. I'm just writing an ADOS at the top, and I'll I'll deal with the with the what they call a down ballot. But I I wrote an ADOS the last time I voted in Virginia. I wrote an ADOS. You know. You know, so so you, well, you don't even have the right to tell you. It's been in the talking, uh, the, you know, the, the talking, uh, um, the talking points um, with a lot of black people. So who, is, uh, since I haven't listened to all the uh, Yvette and, and Antonio's messages, who is an ADOS person who ADOS people would like to see in office? No, I, don't get me wrong. It's not. It's do, not. This, do they exist? No, listen, listen. Because they could all go the, the David Dinkins way. Hey, I'm the mayor of the entire city. Yeah, you that's know, right. I'm that, that, mayor of black people. That, you know? That's what. That's what. That's what Obama did. In fact, when Obama came to office yeah. and he started jettisoning people from his cabinet because they would say stuff, I said he's pulling the Dinkins. He's pulling the Dinkins. You know, black yeah. people got him elected, and then he's gonna turn again. But let me go back. No, you are getting it wrong. This is not the optics. It's not because you're black or nothing like that. This has to do with the fact that you are not doing the agenda of ADOS. It's not the it's not the skin color. It's the agenda. ADOS okay, has to do who, who has to that person that that would be supported. Hold on a second. Okay. Let me didn't you hear what I just said? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Hashtag ADOS. I mean ADOS101.com. There's a whole agenda there and reasons why this is agenda is in place. All I'm saying is you could be a mar- you could you could be anybody, as long as you're an ally. In other words, you have to embrace the agenda of ADOS. It has nothing to do with your skin color. That's what I'm trying to say. If Trump Okay, so so it okay, so to that point, so should Marion Anderson should should she that be that focal point since she spoke about reparations right. more than any candidate. Should right. she be that, that person that all ADOS people kind of Go behind. Sure, because since she would say, "Hey, reparations," you know my thing with reparations. I don't know she might think with reparations. Reparations, more money is one thing, but my whole thing. I have this whole thing. But the first thing I say, the first thing for for forget this. If you sign an HR forty, whatever they're doing in the Senate, whatever the deal is, there. No, your thing is has to be. It's like an experimental group. The first thing you do before you even these committees, the first thing you do is you give ADOS to identify them. You give them a debt jubilee. In other words. ADOS, your debts are forgiven. That's a debt jubilee. 
And he said, well, why are you just, yeah, we're going to do it for us first because we like the experiment group because you did like, so you're going to spread it. If it works for us, then we can give it to everybody else. In other words, ADOS is about getting it, you be giving, you keep on giving stuff to these other people. Well, we're going to be in front of the queue now. We're going to be in front of the line. That's the point. ADOS is like, we're the front. You can do whatever you want. You can give whatever you want, but we're the front of the line. That's what we're saying. But let's go back to the thing. It looks, whoever it is, it has nothing to do with skin color. That's what I'm trying to say. The, uh, the, uh, Barack Obama didn't do ADOS bidding, even though he could have. You know, nobody did ADOS bidding. Biden certainly did. In fact, he's got to atone for his sins more than anybody because he's the one that put stuff in place that put all them brothers in jail. The dead jubilee will at least, at least, at least, at least they pay for their ankle bracelets <laughs> right now or something. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. Well, who else? Who else we got there? I'm mean, gonna keep on, keep on going. If you, you know, I'm just saying who, who's on his list. Forget all this other stuff. Who's on his list? Who else is on his list? You said Susan Rice. Okay, Val Deming. She's the uh, Florida former police chief. Police, uh, another police chief. I oh, mean, what? Okay, go ahead. What What is her claim to fame? That she was a Florida police chief. Uh, <laughs> now, as far as okay, so I'm trying Florida. to see like what is the vetting process here or. Uh, okay, so she was, uh, she's a representative currently from 2017 to the present. Who? Um, this former police chief. Okay. Um, 2017. Oh, that's three uh, years? Uh, was a police chief of, oh, yeah, yeah, she was, a, she was chief of the Orlando Police Department from 2007 to, to 2011. Well, well, look, okay, you, you, you know, there's a lot of skeletons in those chiefs, those chief things. Then somebody just, some, some, some cat, Chicago guy, somebody just committed suicide because, you know, I don't know why he committed suicide. <laughs> you know, so those police chiefs, you know, it's kind of thing. But no, let's go back to Susan Rice, man. See, but my thing about Susan Rice, I'm saying logically, don't get me wrong, I don't, not that I want to, Susan Rice. I guess she's, you know, she's black, I guess, because she said he wants a person, a person of color. What the hell is that? But anyway, he wants a person of color. So she, she a person of color. But, 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 she, but I think too much is placed on her to me in that parallel Hillary Clinton role. Well, I don't I mean, think she's, well, I mean, obviously we can't depend on the GOP or anything like that or like other people, but I think she has, she came from the Hillary Clinton mold. No, well, 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 hold on. Give me her. Give me her. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like this piece. Just a second. I'm trying to turn this thing on. We've got a little emergency thing. Mayday. Huh, forget them. Okay, back to the point. Okay, listen. Go back. I'm trying to get the bona fides. Well, what, 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 what's her history? You say Hillary Clinton. What, she served in the Clinton administration? What? How did she get to the Obama? She's in the Obama administration. Well, well, she, well, she did. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because, because of Hillary Clinton. I mean, I mean, the Clinton administration. Yeah. That she graduated or got promoted to the Obama administration, and you know. Well, wait. Hold on, sir. Stop. Stop. <laughs> You're jumping all over the place. Let me go back. How did she get into the Hillary into the oh, Hillary? How did she get in the in the Clinton the Bill Clinton administration? Who done did us damage to? How did how did she get there? What was her position? I thought she was on the computer. Uh, what you got there? Uh, let's see. Let me go back here. Aren't you on the computer? Like, open up too many of these things to find out. Like, uh, man, what, what, okay, school, what, what school did she go to? Man, let me go here. Where'd she Susan come Rice. from? Where'd she grow up? Susan Rice. She grew up, uh, she's, uh... What's her lineage? What's her daddy? Who's her mommy? Who are her people? <laughs> That's what you say. I, I told you, I just told you before, um, her grandparents, maternal grandparents are Jamaican. Okay. But in this official Wikipedia page, she's basically African American, primarily because I guess she was, her, her generation was born. Oh, she's a DC girl. Oh, okay. okay. Mm, there you go. That's something, um, I guess. Chocolate she went City. To wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's go slowly on this thing, right? She DC. That means she's DC when DC was Chocolate City, no? Yeah. So it was, she grew up in Chocolate City, right? She, okay. she, well, yeah. how old is she? How old is she? Let's start with how old is she? Uh, she's 64, so she's. Oh, she's definitely uh, Chocolate City, man. 50, let's see, 55. 1955? Okay. There she go. Okay, she Chocolate City. Okay, forget who her grandparents, whatever it is. She she grew up she grew up in Chocolate City, DC. Then right. okay, great. So so she got some bona fides. Now where did she go? Whatever high school. What what where did she go to college? I told you Stanford. 
Stanford. And oh, okay. the University of Oxford. What? Um, the England? Yep. So and that's where your boy Bill Clinton went to school. I think he was a uh, no, he was a Rhodes Scholar. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Don't I don't know what you listen. Hold on. This is this is fantastic. This is fascinating to me. Hold on. She from D.C. She went to Stanford and then she went to graduate school to, to England to Oxford. Wow. Uh, that, 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 that's some bona fides, man. She got her PhD in Oxford. That's what I'm trying to say, man. Look at that. What else you want? And then she went to the Clinton administration from there. Yep. Because Sanford she, she worked on all these. Uh, she supported democratic transitions in South Africa and Nigeria. Really? And, and yeah, so her, a lot of her stuff was dealing with Africa. Oh, so she, oh, so she got the African bone. You, you, you know, all these people trying to get into Africa now because you know China did what they did, and Africa ain't having it. But I'm gonna tell you right now. But this is super interesting to me. Hey, look, this, this is no. Okay, hold on a second. No, Rose, now I got my head spinning. Hold on. She went to Stanford, which means that a lot, of, a lot of these, you know, when you go to these politics of the elite people, they come from. Because didn't uh, Condoleezza Rice go to Stanford? She teaches at Stanford now. Anyway, the point is, is Stanford, uh, what is, what is it, uh, uh, Harvard? Yale, or those are the three. You know what I mean? And Brown don't count. You know, my my beloved Rutgers don't. No, my beloved Rutgers not my beloved, but you know, Prince, 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 Princeton. That's right, Princeton. Uh, sorry, I forgot. I left out Princeton. But you know, uh, in fact, my best friend. I'm in his house right in his basement right now. He went. He went to. That's why I met him at Princeton, man. You know, I used to. I I used to. I, that's my first radio thing. I did uh, a a Reds for PRB, the radio station in Princeton. That's how I met JB. He graduated Princeton. He might know her, man. Oh, wait a minute. You, said, you said Brown University don't count. Isn't that where Hillary went? Did she go to Brown? I don't think so. I don't care. Brown is where... No, uh, no. Brown don't count. Man, that's where the artists go. Don't worry about it. Let's go back. Don't don't get off track, man. This is... You don't understand. We got something here. Hold on. We Hold on. We got something here. So she got the bona fides from right, right school, Sanford. The right, right school, internationally, she went to Oxford. That means she got all us, the, the European people, you know, uh, you know, uh, well, Ox, you know, Oxford's not in Europe, but you know what I'm saying? You got the English okay. connection, the whole banking thing there, right? Then you're telling me that she hung out in Nigeria and South Africa? And in South Africa with the transition stuff? Oh, keep going. I'm fascinated. What's next? How's she? Then that's when, that's when she was with the Clinton administration, right? The, the the Bubba's Bubba's administration. Uh, yeah. So uh, another, Clinton. So in other words, she still hung out. She hung out with 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 with, with uh, what I call uh, um, the Hillary the, the Hill crowd, the Hillary crowd, right? So she got the she got that connection. Keep going. Oh, what's next? What what was she doing during during, during the, with whoever that um, uh, W's administration? What was she doing then? Um, well, she is a fellow from the Brookings Institution. Uh, oh yeah. no. Oh, you could knock me over with a feather. You, did you say the Brookings Institution? This, damn! <laughs> what? So, 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 so here's a quick thought. You, you, you think you think the girl Sarah Palin could compare with would her? You stop, would you stop bringing up these tangential things? These people don't count. Let's stay on Susan Rice, man. You don't understand, man. You you you, you have just hit the, the vein, the, the gold vein, like, like like a South African mine, a gold like 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 a Klondike, you know, vein, like a you know, a, you know, Sanford vein. Look, man, no, no, we we got something going. On. Listen, hold on. Okay, so she's Brookings into then how she get into the Obama administration? What was she doing? Then she got the Obama picture. Oh, right? oh, 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 oh. Let's, let's back up. Okay. okay. So after she becomes a fellow at the Brookings Institution, she served as a foreign policy advisor to Michael Dukakis, John Kerry, and Obama. Oh man, hey, I'm I'm floored. I'm almost on the floor. I'm almost on the floor. <laughs> what? Oh, keep go oh, oh, keep going. I, I have a, I have a conspiracy theory going in my head right now. But keep on going. What was next? So, so it's in the bombers. What was she doing in my bombers? She's some she's secretary. Okay, so she was nominated as ambassador to the UN mm -hmm. during that first session. But she didn't make it. The Senate confirmed her by unanimous oh, consent. Did. I didn't. I I lost track then. I was in Africa. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, go ahead. So she was ambassador so, to the U.S. So she got she so she she knows all the foreign stuff. So during her tenure at the U.N., she championed human rights and anti-poverty agendas, elevated climate change 
and LGBTQ alphabet city, whatever bullcrap writes, as global priorities. What? 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 Keep going. Oh, this is fascinating. I'm ready for this, but go ahead. I'm listening. And committed the U.S. to agreements such as the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, <gasps> and the U.N. Millennium Development Goals, whatever. Lordy B. Oh. Da, da, uh, um. mentioned, mentioned as a possible replacement for retiring U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in 2012, Rice withdrew from consideration following controversy related to the 2012 attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi. Ah, uh huh. And that's a Republican point. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh huh. Okay, so basically, wait, wait. Let me ask you something. Benghazi, but 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 did did, did she kill did she kill Gaddafi? That's a, that's a, that's a game changer for me. <laughs> it was Hillary that killed Gaddafi, but did, did, what was she doing with, with Central with, with Central America, with, with Honduras and stuff like that? Did she kill anybody? Let me put it that way. <laughs> well, it seems like at least on the Wikipedia page, everything is related to Africa. So that's not necessarily anything dealing with... Uh, okay, on July 7, 1998, Rice was a member of an American delegation to visit detained Nigerian president-elect Bosaran, Mashud, Kashi Wabo, all of uh, whatever names he got. Mm -hmm. During this meeting, she suffered a fatal heart attack. Who? Oh. Well, hold on. Who's, who suffered a heart attack? The Nigerian president-elect. Oh. That means the American oh. delegation, no. delegation was visiting in 98. Okay. No, no. That's, that, I'm going to say that's good. But let me tell you that. That's, if that if if that's the CIA, then that means that she got the CIA connections. You know where the CIA, CIA is all up in the media and stuff like that. You know they they run MSNBC and all the rest of it. They always oh, oh man, I, okay, I got a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory. I got a thought. Can I say something? The, follow this don't thought. You don't want to release it on YouTube instead of me. You don't, or, or do you want to just practice on me and then you'll put it out on YouTube? I'm practicing on you, but it's going up. It's going up. I'm telling you. Okay, here's the thing. Now we know. We, we well, we we strongly suspect that we meant on that Super Tuesday when everybody dropped out, including Kamala Harris. You know what I mean? That there was a deal made, and they said, "Hey, Kamala, you you can be vice president." So there was a deal made right there, right? Okay, so he was sort of stuck with it, but now with all this blowback on Kamala Harris, I think, and since they've been, they haven't really said anything about Susan Rice, right? So what's going to happen is they were basically saying, okay, it's going to be, in, oh no, is it the, the donors, the 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 what do you call that, the international peoples, the the, the spy networks, or you know the the CIA, those kind of people, they all know it's Susan because she got the Africa, you know, right? And so they 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 know it's her, right? But they. But, you know, she wasn't running and stuff like that. So what's going to happen is, for whatever reason, I say the donors are going to say, no, it can't be Harris, man. She got, she got, you know, you know, it ain't going to be that. So they're going to, it's going to be Susan Rice, man. I'm telling you, man, this was in the works already. These, look, come on, man. We, yo, Nelson, me and you, what we doing right now? We playing three dimensional, we doing, we playing three dimensional chess right now. We don't, we don't peep that whole card, man. We know what they doing. We know what they doing, man. I'm telling you. Hey, man, you. I don't gamble, man. You gamble, man? You got some money? Let's go to Las Vegas on this, man. Come on, man. We can make some money on this, man. It's going to be Susan Rice. I don't gamble, but I'm telling you, it's going to be Susan Rice. And it ain't going to be comedy because she's going to get all chopped up. That's it, man. We done, we, done, we done peeped the whole card. That's it. Done. Now, how, how am I wrong with this? All right. So, so let me add some other stuff here so that you can... Put on glom onto your YouTube uh, forty-five minute or hour video. Which <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Nobody, nobody listens to my channel anyway. This doesn't matter. Go ahead, go, go, go. What, what, what's your thing? Just don't, okay. don't try to critique my channel, man. Go ahead. Okay, so National Security Council at the time of the Rwandan genocide, Rice reportedly said, "If we use the word genocide." and are seen as doing nothing, what will the effect on the November election be? Okay, so that's 94, let's see, 94, okay. She's politically so, sophisticated. Okay, he's still first, okay. She 
she denies the quote. Um, yeah, she denies the quote. Uh, the inability or failure of the Clinton administration to do anything about the genocide would form her later views on possible military interventions. Um, so she's a hawk. She's a neocon. She's a, not only that, but she's a she's a thinking she's a politician. She said, "Hey, don't use the word gen." Come on now, they want. Yeah. I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about Biden. I'm talking about the De the Democrat Party. This is this is their golden. This is the golden. This is their black girl. Come on now, tell me I'm wrong. Uh, well, let me continue. Um, okay, so in the 2002 op-ed. By a former U.S. ambassador to Sudan, he claimed that in '97, Sudan offered to turn over its, its intelligence on bin Laden, but that Rice, together with then NSC terrorism specialist Richard A. Clark, successfully that. lobbied for continuing to bar U.S. officials from engaging with the Khartoum government. Uh, similar accusations, alleged allegations were made later in Vanity Fair by another art artist. Uh, um, the allegations against Rice were determined to be unfounded by the Joint Congressional Inquiry into 9-11 and the 9-11 Commission, which found no evidence that Sudan ever made an offer to share intelligence on bin Laden. So that's twice, that's twice you escaped. The genocide quote says they deny and this whole thing deny. So that, that don't worry, that's gone. Okay, come on, that's, that's it? Is that, what else you got? Let's go fast forward. Let's see, Secretary, former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright urged the Clinton administration to appoint Rice as Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs in 97. Um, at a confirmation hearing chaired by Senator John Ashcroft, Rice, who attended the hearing along with her infant son, whom she was then nursing, made a great impression on senators from both parties. And she sailed through the confirmation process. Wait, is it nursing? She mean she 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 put out the she pulled out the bosom and 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 the the, 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 the girl was the, the 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 son was suckling on on the bosom. What was the? What, I guess yeah, the you just put the blanket over your over yourself. Yeah, I guess. Oh, you can't. The women are gonna go. Cr oh man, look, this is the go. Wait a second. She had a son. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. She had a son. I mean, she got a she had a husband. Well, who's her husband? I told you, a Canadian, uh, Cana Canadian ABC guy. A Canadian who, sir? Who? ABC. He worked for ABC um, TV. What is he? He black or white? He could be black or Canadian. Wait, wait, wait. You, you've been drinking, man. I told you. Then, no, like, don't tell me what you told me. Do you oh, look at it. Is the boy black or white, man? I'm asking you a simple, simple question. <laughs> They're black Canadians. Is he black or white? I, he's white Canadian. Thank you. Okay. So that might be a tripping stone, with, but then I may not mention, well, oh, okay, okay. No, wait a no, second. But it, but it, okay, but to be fair, okay, so when, when I think Wikipedia is a, a is a place where people can just post or edit. Okay, look, look, you, but you can't, you so can't. If, look. If, if, she, if the word at the time was called nursing versus today, oh, breastfeeding. Okay, look. You know, uh, look, you, know, look, look. On, you know how the media and people. Excuse me, excuse me, Mister Longwinded. You, this is over with, right? You are talking about long, long, long posts. Okay, I'm done. I got my prediction. I'm telling you, it's Susan Rice, right? Even if she married a white boy, she married up, and that's what they, that's what they expect. You know what I mean? He's probably part of. Let's find out if he's part of the club. You know what I mean? He knows he's a me he's media. That's even more. He's media. So she knows, he knows them, he got media contacts with all those other CIA kind of thing. This is it, man. We don't solve the thing. Come on, put your money down. I'm telling you, you want to make some money? Get out of here. So, 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 because since, since the government ain't giving you no money, you know, since you're, since you're unemployed or whatever have you, throw some money down on here, man. You'd be set. I'm telling you. I'm telling me telling you, me being T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect, strongly suspect. <laughs> 